Greetings guys, this is Tokraft and today I decided to make a new series because I would love to involve you guys more into my channel and the way that I wanted to do that, yeah, that I wasn't really sure about that. So what I thought, I get mails a lot from you guys saying if I uh, cover replays from subscribers and I said to them, of course you can mail me the replay, but most of them didn't do this. So what am I going to do now? I I'm going to make a new series as I just said you can now send in your replays as a subscriber to this email address tocraft10 at gmail.com and title your mail as replay submission or something like that so that I can see um, yeah that it is a mail about the replay submissions and please also put the name of the tank that the replay is played on uh, in the title of the mail so that I can see what tank the replay is about so that's pretty much everything uh, but also in the mail please write a subscription of the some key moments that you think are going to be interesting so what would be nice maybe tell me uh, why you think the replay is worth showing on my channel doesn't have to be anything special but if you have a replay like I am just showing you right now then it is a good replay so it can, for instance, it can be, for instance, a a carry game, a a, a, a um, epic kills game, or something like that. But I would like to involve you guys more into my channel. So this is one of my replays. I didn't really have any uh, replay from my subscribers yet. So let's cover some things that are in this replay as well. I am driving the SU-12244, the Tier 7 Russian premium tank destroyer, and as you can see. Um, I don't get spotted and these guys are around 100 to 150 meters away from me. I can just shoot these guys and they don't spot me for some reason. And that reason is that this tank has got the broken camo rating still that premium tank destroyers still get before they got buffed. Of uh, nerfed, excuse me. Now the IS-3 uh, sees me, he puts a shot into me. I'm unspotted again and I load a premium shell just to take him out and I'm already up to 2300 damage and what is good about this tank this tank gets an insane rate of fire it ha carries the 120 millimeter gun of the 122 millimeter gun uh, the same one that is mounted on the IS but this tank gets a uh, 6.75 second reload time so that is ridiculous and the armor is also quite good for uh, equally and lower tier targets but for uh, against tier 8 tanks it isn't uh, that special at all so what you're seeing me doing now is trying to aim at this T29 there we go put a good shot onto him not sure why I have load decided to load a premium shot here but my shot goes high and hits the turret apparently because the shot does, doesn't penetrate again doesn't penetrate pretty sad but oh well he gets taken out anyway but now there's this WZ111 down here and um, this Jack Tiger 88 and this T28 prototype on my right are going to help me out but what is the situation here? This game is a 36 percenter, so it is going to be pretty hard to win this game. I load premium shots just to make sure that I'm going to go through the armor of this 111. I don't really want to bounce any shots right now, purely because I've only got 175 millimeters of penetration, which is mm, quite below average for a uh, yeah for engaging tier 8 tanks. But now as you can see we are one tank in front, they've still got some good players alive on the enemy team. So what I want to do is try and lower the numbers. But as you can see I've only got 61 health left so I have to be really careful at the moment. But as I am hiding myself in these bushes it is going to be really hard for the enemy to spot me. Because I've still got that improved camo rating. Well now I'm just waiting for the Yak Tiger to ADA to engage the WZ and wait for the WZ to fire so that I can put a shot onto him. Uh, unfortunately it bounces. I quickly pull back and I angle my tank between my shots to give myself the highest chance of bouncing a shot. But he gets taken out anyway. And now the OI comes around. He doesn't see me. 
He knows that I'm here though because he's aiming at me. I put a shot onto him and I pull back and it doesn't look like he spotted me because my sixth sense didn't go off. Which is really good of course. This thing has got broken camera rating just now. But as you can see I'm already up to 4000 damage almost. Very good game for this tank so far. And the only thing I want to know is what can I do for the rest now. I do want to stay in this location for as long as I can because here I've got the biggest advantage of staying alive and the biggest chance of staying alive. But uh, now that almost every enemy tank on this flank is dead, there's no point in staying on this part of the map anymore. The Type 59, the really good player on the enemy team is still alive though, so I've got to be careful, but he's last been spotted on the other side of the map. But I was thinking at this point that we he was going uh, to come around from all the way around the map to see if he could engage some of our tanks. But luckily he gets spotted. And now that he gets spotted, I know that I can safely progress towards the other flank to try and support right there. I've already gotten a very good game here, so I don't really care if I uh, don't get anything um, like damage or anything. As you can see, two tanks get taken out. Also the Type 59, so I am not scared anymore at all, to be honest. But the thing is, I just want to go in now. I don't really care if I die, because if you don't risk nothing you gain nothing so I'm just going in here at this point to see what I can do I am hoping that the Egg Panther is going to be somewhere that I can uh, put a shot onto him still artillery also got taken out by the light tanks on our team so I'm just trying to follow this ice 3 but I do have to be careful though because the Egg Panther hasn't been spotted or at least it doesn't get shown on my map so I don't know for sure where this uh, Yak Panther is. So I've got to be careful. But uh, we all think the same that he is up there in that corner. Because most of the enemy tanks try to make their last stand back there. But he's not. He is a little bit more towards my side. I can get a shot off if I go just a little bit closer. So I do just that. There he is. I look if I have a shot on him. I do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a shot for luck and it goes in. Beautiful. And we take the kill. What a good game for this tank. So if you have a game like this, uh, send it to me. If it is, yeah, I think it is good enough or it is really interesting to show to you guys. I will of course make a video about it because I'd love to involve my subscribers more into my channel. Anyway, let's take a look at the stats before I highlight everything once more. So guys, this was a first class medal for the SU-12244. We got 2721 experience for our double and we netted ourselves 70,000 uh, credits. In total we did 4664 damage, more than anyone was able to do in this game. We got 1236 base experience which got us the first class medal. Because these shells are that expensive and we fired a lot of them, I only made 21,000 uh, credits profit, although this is a premium tank. So guys, now that that is out of the way, I would like to repeat to you what I want you to do when you send in one of your replays. So first of all, the replay has got to be sent to the email address tocraft10 at gmail.com. Please title your email with something like a uh, replay submission and put the name of the tank that is played in the replay in the title of the mail as well. In the mail itself I would love to uh, read something about uh, what is happening in the replay and I would like to see attachments of the battle results. And one of the most important things is that you send me the name that you want me to refer you to if I cover your replay on my channel so that I can give you the deserved shout out and advice I can give you is upload your replay to what replays.com uh, and send me the link in that way I will get the replay and the post battle results at the same time so guys thank you so much for watching I hope you've liked this video and I hope you guys are going to send in a lot of replays and I can't wait to see what you guys send in to me that's it for this time and I will see you in the next video bye bye